everyone, I'm Shannon Brandyberry, Managing Editor of Motor Age Magazine, and once again I'm talking with Dave Striegel, owner of Elizabeth Auto Care in Elizabeth, Pennsylvania, and founder of the Shop Doctor community. We are moving along in our year-long video series to help you use video marketing in your repair shop. Last month we touched upon what you need to record a video and suggested folks check out the behind-the-scenes look at your setup in a video on your site, shopdoctor.com. This month, I want to welcome Dave in for a quick look at what now to do with your video. So welcome again, Dave. Thanks, Shannon. It's so nice to see you again. I hope everybody was able to see that last video and the one that I put up on my site, because there is a ton of great information there that I really think is going to help remove some of the mystery behind the camera. I agree. I agree on both. So now that they have that bit of background, let's start with where to host your video once you have created it. Most people probably are at least familiar with watching a video on YouTube, especially if they're watching this today, but what do they need to know about posting a video on that site? Sure. Well, YouTube is clearly the choice for shop owners like me uh, when it comes to posting our videos, Shannon. So here's a few things that are going to help the process go a lot smoother. So before we can post a video to YouTube, we need to have a channel set up. And hopefully you've already got a Google Plus account for your shop by now, and that's the jumping off point. You know, when you're signed into your Google account, you can now set up your YouTube channel and then upload your first video in MP4 format. Now, this one is really important. The name or title of your video should be the actual search term that you're trying to get ranked for. Like, if you did a video on brakes, you should name your video something like Brakes in Elizabeth PA. And this is going to help your video get ranked properly in Google search engine for anybody that's looking for breaks in your neighborhood. And then you need to be able to write a description of the video that tells Google crawlers what you're saying on the screen. Google can't read your lips, so you have to tell it what you want it to know. Just make sure that you include all the local search terms and even the shop contact information. It's going to help lead back to your shop's website and your social media pages. And YouTube helps you kind of harness the power of Google to take your video and your shop right to the top of the first page so that people who are searching for auto repair services are going to find you first. That's pretty cool, isn't it? Oh, oh yeah, oh yeah. It's all interconnected. So, so now that their video is on YouTube and everything is filled out properly, this is more of a wide open question here, but it's there. So what should they then do with the video? Get all the eyes that you can to watch the video. You know, your video is going to rank much higher if it gets more views. And not only that, but Google considers the video relevant if it's watched all the way through. So either provide awesome content or keep it real short. And then get it embedded on your website. You know, send out a mass email to all of your clients. Post a link on Facebook. Um, drive as many people as you can to watch it and like. And even better yet, post a comment because Google loves comments because that means that the viewers are engaged in the video and this is what's going to help you blow your competitors off the first page. The goal here is to get your shop to display as many listings as possible on page one of the searches and your Google Plus page, your website, and YouTube videos are a great start. So remember, there's only so much real estate on each page. So the more spots that you can grab means less for your competition, right? And this is where videos are so important right now. All right. It's all interconnected. So. Yep. Thanks, Dave. Um, now everyone joining us in these videos should be ready to share their own on YouTube. And we welcome you to tell us about them in the comments below. So the next step is tracking your video's reception, which we'll discuss in next, me next month's video here. So just remember, as usual, if you'd like more information or to see other videos, you can check out our management video feeds on our MotorH YouTube page, or by seeing Dave's creations at shopdoctor.com. Thanks, everyone, and have a great day.